from my own uh, company called Kobu.com. I was participating uh, for a few years in our user group in Krakow, where I live. Uh, I do have the Microsoft MVP award. In case you have any questions, comments, suggestions, just want to uh, catch up with me, uh, here are some uh, ways to do it. So, uh, let's get started. Um, a little bit of history uh, of uh, game controllers, at least for as long as I, I'm living, uh, playing video games was uh, always uh, involved some sort of, of devices like those are on the above. So, uh, if you wanted to play a, a video game, you had to use some sort of a controller. And although the games were uh, getting better and better, we really didn't change the way that, that we play the game. And in most cases, you ended up as uh, this guy, when even if you got very engaged in the game, you only exercise your fingers. Uh, not the rest of the human body, which has uh, much more to offer. So, some people at Microsoft thought, hmm, let's do something about it. And then they said, we don't need a controller. Uh, let's make something that uh, actually the, the console, the video game, uh, can see the entire body, that can see entire human. And they did it. They created the Kinect sensor. And that, cre and that created new games, new types of games where you don't, you you are not so sitting in front of uh, TV. You are supposed to move in front of it. Where you control the avatar, the car, the shooter, or anything uh, <laughs> using your movement. And you know, people, a lot of people like this. In fact, it, so many people like the like this idea that. Uh, it, it is said that Kinect is, was the fastest selling electronic device in 2011. Uh, from the um, launch on November 2010, there were uh, 10 million units sold, and at the same time, uh, the same, the, that same amount of games was sold as well. So, from marketing perspective, it was a huge uh, success for Microsoft. However, uh, at the same time, something else was happening. Some people said, hmm, this is a very cool device. And this device uh, solves a lot of problems for us that we are struggling to solve for some, uh, for a very long time, not, for, not only for video games, also for robotics, for many different applications. So, Enthusiasts, hobbyists, researchers around the world started looking how they can use Kinect in different applications, in different fields, and they started hacking Kinect to do different things that just play uh, video games. Uh, I have a question for you: How many of you played Kinect or experienced Kinect? Okay, the rest of you. There is a one uh, in the lobby outside, so make sure that during this conference you at least go and see and experience how, how you can play Kinect games. And uh, so how many of you hacked Kinect or... <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, what I'm going to show you uh, today are those uh, uh, main points. We will take a look inside Kinect. We will see where is this magic thing happening uh, that allows Kinect to see not only the color image but also the depth image. We see how we can utilize the sensor and how we can take this uh, picture to our applications and use it in our applications. We'll do it with, uh, so we'll look at several SDKs but uh, mostly all, uh, on the official Microsoft Kinect SDK. And at the end of the session, I would like to show you some ideas, some projects that uh, appeared during last year that I think are very inspiring and show the potential of what you can do with Kinect. All right, let's get started. Kinect from the outside, it's this small device. I have two of them here. If you haven't seen one here, it's this size. Uh, 
of course, that's that's the outside. What uh, those people, those researchers were interested is to, to look inside. Fortunately, I didn't have to uh, take apart <laughs> my sensor because it, I would cry to do it. Uh, someone else did it, fortunately. And this is uh, all the pieces. The important pieces are here. So those are the main components that go into the sensors, and those are the three two cameras and a special projector. One is just the regular color camera, like you have the webcam on your laptop or the standalone webcam. It can see the visible light the same way as the human eye can, can see, uh, see it. The other one uh, can see the invisible light, the light that comes in the infrared spectrum. And uh, it Kinect also has a source of this light. It's uh, the infrared light projector. It's built using a laser diode with special diffuser. Uh, and also, please notice that this, this, it's this component and it's placed slightly off center from the other two. It's, it's also an important decision that they made. So we have the projector uh, that outputs the infrared light. We have the something that can see this light, and we also have the regular camera. That's those are the main components. The other are the electronics that go inside and the structure. The extra components that are also found on Kinect are the is the microphone array. So it not only has a single microphone, but it has several microphones arranged in an array. So this allows Kinect to do some things like. Uh, positioning the user depending the, of the direction the voice is coming from. We saw this see example of this a little bit later. And also the head of the Kinect can move up and down, tilt uh, from the base so the sensor can adjust the correct angle uh, to see the entire scene perfectly. And that's about all. What those people also found out is that actually uh, some parts of uh, Kinect are not in, weren't invented by Microsoft. They actually licensed a technology from Israel company called PrimeSense, and that's the chipset that uh, drives the depth sensor. And here we have a diagram of the design for this uh, chipset, and we can see all those components are here. So the, those are the. Uh, we have the components that allow to see the depth, we have the camera, which turns out to be optional, as well as the uh, audio source. Uh, we don't have the uh, motor here, so we can say that that's the only addition that Microsoft really added, but that's not entirely true. And what's also very important is that Kinect turns out to communicate using regular USB. This gives us some hope that Kinect can be connected to regular PCs, right? Mm, all right, so we know the hardware now, but let's see how Kinect perceives the environment. So what, what I have here is a little application uh, that uh, shows the output of, of Kinect. And because there is pretty dark and the elements are for outside. Uh, yeah. So this main window, the colorful window, is the output of the depth uh, imager, the web depth camera. You can see on the above that when I move the cursor uh, above this image, the uh, distance changes. You can see this number here at the top. So the wall is about four meters away from me, just about right. We don't have the tape measure here to correct verify this, and the, but the table is a little closer, and this table is very close, right? So it's very hot in the colors. That's uh, what we are primarily working with. Uh, here on the side, you can also see that we got this color image, just a regular one. Uh, one thing that you will notice that there are some dark areas. Although this is very uh, close, uh, Kinect really cannot see, for example,